Hello, everybody. Wolf Fang here. It is Monday, August the 15th. It's cold. It's 12 degrees here in Cincinnati currently. When I woke up this morning, it was like 8 degrees. But there's other places that uh, it's a lot colder. So, I'm going to do something a little different with this video today. Uh, <laughs> I call it uh, my spam report spicy and because I'm calling it spicy for the first time I'm going to try focus ghost pepper so what I did if you can yeah that's a little bit better my camera's a pain but anyway it's ghost pepper so I <clears throat> I had a small pizza I cooked up. It's done. I'm going to put a couple drops of ghost pepper on some pizza and I'm going to do the report. So here we go. Let's see. Can you see it? See it? See it? Is that dripping on my keyboard? Here we go. Maybe a little more. You was high already. All right. It's not polite to eat and talk. I feel the heat. All right. Ooh. It's getting there. Okay, so let's do the report. My tongue's on fire now. I feel it. U.S. <clears throat> U.S. commercial ship hit by missile off a of Yemen coast. Top line. Uh, ship owned by Connecticut-based Eagle Bolt was hit by a missile off the coast of Yemen on Monday. According to the dry bulk vessel, my tongue's on fire, or operator, amid escalating strikes on commercial shipping lanes conducted by Hathi rebels who have not claimed responsibility for Monday's attack. That's really, uh, it's hot on the tongue right now. Uh, key facts. Eagle Bulk confirmed <coughs> the the attack and email to Forbes and said uh, I'm slobbering. The vessel suffered limited damage to a cargo hull, but it is stable and heading out of the area. All seafarers <coughs> aboard the vessel, which is carrying a cargo of steel products, was confirmed uninjured. Uh, Eagle Bulk said, Wow, talk about hot tongue. U.S. Central Command said in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, that Hafiz militias were responsible for the attack. The ship was struck off the coast of Yemen in the Gulf of Aden, and the Associated Press reported. Citing uh, <clears throat> United Kingdom maritime trade operations and nothing that uh, suspicious has fallen on the Hathus or Hathis, who had previously fired missiles in the same area against uh, commercial vessels. Let's do another little dab here. That's pretty good. I got a runny nose. Uh, Let me chew this up. Give me a minute. It'll be okay. A ship was bound for Egypt's Sioux Canal, a major hub for global trade, has been impacted by the, hot, the Houthis or Hafiz harassment of ships in the Red Sea, which the Hamas supporting rebel group plans to continue until Israel ceases its strikes on Gaza. 
tangent. E Eagle bulk stock closed up a fraction of a percent on Friday at $53.34 a share. I guess that's what they're talking about. Any potential impact the missile strike has on the company's shares will not be seen until Tuesday. As markets remain closed Monday in observation of Martin Luther King Day Jr. Or I said that a little backwards. Key background. The Red Sea, the only route to Sioux Canal has become the site of multiple Afi attacks on commercial ships that have provoked an armed response from the U.S., U.K., and their allies. Last week, more than a dozen Hathi launched drones and missiles <clears throat> in the Red Sea were shot down by U.S. and U.K. naval forces, which later conducted airstrikes on the Hathi military locations in Yemen, including radar installations storage sites, and missile launchers, Bloomberg reported. Hafi strikes have also been detected toward U.S. or directed. I meant directed, not detected. <laughs> directed towards the U.S. ships during the conflict. Any anti-ship cruise missile was fired from Hafi uh, militia areas of Yemen towards U.S. warships. USS Laboon on Monday, according to a statement from the Central Command, which noted missiles, well, oh, excuse me, was shot down by U.S. aircraft. Hafi pressures <clears throat> on shipping lanes have diverted thousands of ships, courses, and could potentially impact food and oil prices. So there you go. That was my spicy report about a missile being fired at our U.S. commercial ships now. And I can breathe out of my nose. This stuff's pretty damn good. Pretty damn hot. Uh, I don't think I'll be using any more to finish off the pizza. <clears throat> but there you go. That's my first time ever trying... Uh, Ghost pepper sauce. Whew. Anyway, this is your spicy spam report from Wolfang. <laughs> Have a great Monday evening. Blessed be. Stay safe, and I'll chat with you later.